Okay, so today we're going to be focusing on farming Dreamlight. And this is something that a lot of people, you know, have asked me about. And it's something I don't do very often, but I feel like it's something I should be doing more. I do know some people out there with like over a million Dreamlight. Personally, I've been sitting right around 300,000 for a long time. But the reason I want to start farming again is because I want to make a lot more of the gold storage chests, especially with the expansion coming in a few days. So we're going to be covering this today because I know a lot of you guys out there are also curious about really efficient ways to gather dream light. All right, so one of the biggest and most important steps to gathering dream light as fast as you possibly can is going to be setting up a nice little area designed to where you can come to this area to complete a majority of your tasks. Now, a lot of dream light tasks, or I should be saying dream light duties, a lot of dream light duties are going to be biome specific. They'll tell you mine rocks in this biome, or they'll say catch fish in this biome. Of course, those tasks can't be completed in this little spot, but a lot of pretty much 90% of the other tasks can be. So if we look here, this is what you're going to want in your little Dreamlight Duties zone. Now, this is a temporary zone. I will not be keeping this, and you don't have to keep yours either, but this is what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to put a wishing well here so you can access the zone quickly. You're going to want Goofy Stall here. And the reason you want Goofy Stall, if you're familiar with Dreamlight Duties, you know you're going to get duties that say sell X amount of gems, sell X amount of fish, sell X amount of vegetables, sell X amount of fruit. Those come up. So if you have a Goofy Stall here, that means you're going to be able to access those quickly. You're going to want a crafting station. I have the painting table here. The reason we have a crafting station is because uh, periodically we might want to make certain potions to speed things up. Now, of course, that does cost Dreamlight, and you may see that as counterproductive, but there is a reason we may want to do that. This is optional, but I do have a crafting station here for that. The other thing you're going to want is going to be a stove. Now I'm using Scar stove here. The reason you want a stove in your little area is cooking meals, cooking one star meals, two star meals, three star meals, four star meals, and five star meals comes up under your Dreamlight duties quite often. So you're going to want to have that in this area too. That way, if you have to sell anything or cook anything, you can just come to this location. The other prime thing about this location is we have both fruits and veggies here. So I have my fruit orchard right here. We have cherries, cocoa beans. Uh, we have the lemons, the gooseberries, coffee beans, all that. And then over here, we have my garden, which has all kinds of different crops. These pumpkins aren't quite, quite ready, but we have crops here, crops here, and then all throughout this area. So the reason we want crops close by is you're going to get dreamlight duties that say harvest five veggies, plant five veggies. You're going to have dreamlight duties that say pick, you know, three cocoa beans, pick five apples, things like that. So having access to all of your fruit trees and having access to all of your veggies is going to make it quicker because you're going to be able to come to this area to do this as well. So the biggest piece of the puzzle to farming Dreamlight as fast as you can is setting up a zone just like this. The last thing we have here that's really important is going to be these two chests. Now, why we the reason we have these two chests here is because in chest to the left, this chest is specifically for favorite gifts. You're going to get Dreamlight duties that require you to give a certain amount of favorite gifts. You usually give one favorite gift to uh, just any one villager. It won't be specific. It'll just say, give someone one favorite gift. So what I do is I pick three villagers or four villagers and I get all their favorite gifts. You can find this in collections and I put them all in this box. Then I hang out with one of those villagers until they've gotten all three of their favorite gifts from Dreamlight duties. And then I break it off with them and grab the next villager. Right now we'll be starting with Stitch and that's why I have Stitch here. Now in the other box, I just have seeds. So we have these seeds here because we're gonna have to plant veggies. We're gonna have to plant veggies for Dreamlight duties as well. So this box is for my seeds. And then also Dreamlight duties are gonna fill up our pockets really quick. Like we're gonna be mining, we're gonna be gardening, we're going to be, you know, fishing. We're going to be doing all of that stuff. So our pockets are going to get full. So having a little bit of extra room here to just throw off these extra things is going to be helpful as well. So the less, you know, if you can take time away from having to go back home and sort out your stuff, that's great. You can always do your dark wood storage chest. These connect to all of your other dark wood chests. Whatever you have inside them is going to be connected to all of the other ones throughout your valley. And these are all in my storage room as well. So I'll put things in here that I want to sort out later. Okay, so you could put that here as well. All right, so lastly, we're finally about ready to start pursuing our dreamlight farming 
And the last little bit of preparation I would say is make sure you have some things in your inventory to start. Whoever your buddy is, your companion that's with you, make sure you have their favorite gifts. That way if you get give a favorite gift to a companion, you already have that in your inventory. Once you've given all these favorite gifts and that Dreamlight duty has popped up three times, rotate that companion out or that friend out and grab another friend that you have the favorite gifts set aside for. Now for the sticks, you may be wondering why are those there? Just pick these up when you see them because you're going to be seeing give a gift to a villager. It's not, it doesn't have to be a favorite gift. You can literally give them coal or sticks or other useless things. So that's why I have these. And lastly, the onions and berries here, this is just for feeding animal companions. So you're going to get Dreamlight Duties that ask you to feed critters. So, you know, I have some food here. I can feed the ravens. I could feed the rabbits. I could feed blueberries to either the squirrels or the raccoons. So there you go. It gives you some options there. You can have whatever food you want into your, in your inventory and you can just add to it later. All right. So with that, we're ready to start. Bring two gifts, feed a critter, sell three vegetables, take one picture, catch three fish from the Glade of Trust and mine four rock spots in Sunlight Plateau. So of course, these two right here are biome specific, but the rest of these I can do literally right here, right now. So first off, take a picture. That's easy. We'll just... Boom. Okay, that's done. And for the cell veggies, I'm just going to come over here and pick these three pumpkins real quick. Well, or I guess not go that way. Yeah, okay, that's fine too. We'll come over here. We'll sell that. That's out of the way. And this is why we like our stuff just all being in one little location. Okay, now we got that one done. Now for feed a critter, let's go to the squirrels. I feel like the squirrels are, are just easier because you don't have to do any, you know, I don't have to chase them like with the rabbits. I like to go with the squirrels. Now, if you have an empty valley, this will be so much faster for you. For me, feeding the critters is probably one of the things that slows me down the most because my valley is so built up. It can definitely take me a minute to find the, the critter sometimes. We got that out of the way and we already got these three done and now we have bring two gifts. That's the other thing we can do. That's not biome specific. So we're going to go to stitch here and then we're going to go to I have something to give and it did not specify favorite gifts. So we're just, we're literally going to give him two sticks, just two bundles of sticks. Just that's that. Oh, I just had a daily combo with him. I did not mean to do that. I recommend not doing daily combos unless it comes up because you will sometimes get that as a duty as well. Okay, so we'll give him another stick and boom. Just like that, in the last, like, what, 60 seconds maybe, we've been able to collect 150, 350, 500, 550. So that's 550. So we're going to keep on working on these until we get more biome specific ones. So we're going to go down here. So plant five vegetables. We can do that right now. Okay. Harvest lemons. That's another easy one. So we're going to come over here and boom, harvest lemons. That's why we don't want to pick the rest of the fruit because the fruit can be specific. So just pick what you need to keep the tasks going. Change outfit, daily discussion. See, that's why I did not want to have a daily discussion with Stitch. Now I can't use him for that task. So we're going to have, I see Merlin up here though. We're just go grab Merlin and we'll also hit up the restaurant to serve a meal in the restaurant. So let's do our daily combo here. Boom. Now let's go serve a meal. Pan seared bass and veggies. Okay. So the next task we have is change outfit for this one. If you want to do it really fast, just and not change your outfit really. Change from black socks to white socks. And then and you know that's it. Boom. Done. All right, so the next thing we're about to do is remove four night thorns. So if you are going to be farming Dreamlight, remove four night thorns will pop up periodically. So my advice is to not remove your night thorns unless just don't remove your night thorns at all unless you are actually speed running dreamlight tasks or i mean dreamlight duties i keep on saying tasks unless you're speed running dreamlight duties or unless you're doing star path events so other otherwise leave those night thorns alone if you can if you need to remove them for a dream snap location or something i get it but if you're going to be removing night thorns you might as well be taking advantage of the remove night thorn duty all right now we could just remove these four but we do have two biome specific duties as well and they're not going to stack well with others so i'm just going to go ahead and knock those out as well we're going to mine four rock spots in the sunlit plateau and we're going to catch three fish from the glade of trust now the reason you want to be kind of strategic about how you clear your dreamlight duties is if you can get a bunch of cooking duties at once like you'll get duties that say cook a two-star meal cook a three-star meal cook a one-star meal serve a meal in a restaurant well, if you go and cook a five-star meal, it'll count for all of the other ones. Uh, cooking a five-star meal will clear the duty for a one-star uh, meal. It'll clear the duty for a two-star meal and a three-star. So you can cook one meal and clear five duties. And if that's a meal you can serve in a restaurant, then you can clear six duties in literally a second. So it could be really, really useful to do it that way. 
So you wanna be kind of strategic when it comes to clearing your duties. So when you see cooking duties, maybe leave those alone until you can stack a few of them while you clear some of the others. For now, let's just knock out these biome specific ones. All right, so we did the Dreamlight duty for mining in the Sunlit Plateau. I don't have to show you guys that, it's pretty self-explanatory. But for catching fish in the Glade, I would recommend just going for these green spots, or sorry, these gray spots, I don't know why I said green. Because the blue is gonna give you squid and the gold is going to give you lobster. So your best bet is to go for these little gray spots if you wanna catch three fish in this biome. Um, most likely we'll get herring or tuna, that's gonna be your higher odds. And if you're unlucky like me, you might get some squid from these. Even though squid is actually good luck for these. Oh, we got cod. Yeah, cod as well. So cod, herring, tuna, you can get from these gray spots. But when it comes to, you know, catching fish here. Now, if you get a task to catch seafood here and you don't have any blue or gold spots, you can use fishing bait to turn any of these gray spots into gold spots and automatically get lobster. Just keep in mind that that is going to require you to spend some dream light, but it's beneficial because you'll end up getting, you know, dream light a lot faster than you would by just trying to wait it out and, and hopefully seeing a gold spot or a blue spot or, or just like constantly fishing gray spots looking for squ uh, squid for seafood. If you use that, you can continue moving forward and it speeds up the process. All right, now that we got that done, we have all of these finished. So we're just gonna clear all of these duties and we're gonna move on to our next one. So we have cook a five-star meal. This is like exactly what we we're talking about earlier. We're definitely gonna save that one. We have feed a squirrel. We've already fed one squirrel today. So we're gonna have to go feed the other. We have mine four rock spots in the forgotten land. That's biome specific. We have harvest three blueberries. We can do that at our little breakaway area. We can give a favorite gift in our little breakaway area. And we need to catch three fish in the peaceful meadow, which is nice because that's where our breakaway area is. So there's two things we won't be able to do in our little breakaway area, which is feed a squirrel and mine rocks in the Forgotten Lands. We're not gonna touch five-star meal until we get more cooking tasks. So let's start with these two. Okay, let's give you, here's a lemon. He's really excited about that lemon. And boom, he just ate it up. Now we're gonna go to the Forgotten Lands and we just need to hit those mining spots out there. All right, so we got the four rock spots here. And like we said, these three right here can all be done in our little, breakaway area so we're gonna fast travel back to that okay so we come back here we had pick blueberries so boom and we had to give a favorite gift and we have stitch with us so we've already got his favorite gifts in our inventory we're gonna go ahead and give him his yellow bromelade so we got that done and we had to catch fish in the peaceful meadow so that's pretty easy we'll just come right over here and we'll grab these guys real quick all right now that we have that done We'll clear everything. We're not gonna do five-star meal until we have more cooking tasks. So now we have sell two fish. We have pick three mushrooms. Oh, and the fun thing with pick three mushrooms, which you guys can't see it because it's behind me. When you have the duty to pick three mushrooms, you can literally drop mushrooms from your pockets and pick them back up. So if you don't have any mushrooms left in the Glade of Trust, just drop mushrooms and pick them up. That's, that, that's how quick and easy you can do this task. So you can actually do this task in this area here. We have harvest cherries, feed a rabbit, and catch three fish from Frosted Heights. So we can do this, 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 and this right here in our little area. Frosted Heights, we'll have to travel to for that one. But we're still not gonna touch the five-star meal. So let's sell the fishies. So for the mushroom, let's just go here. We'll hit drop, pick up, and boom. That was my third mushroom. Harvest cherry, feed rabbit. Okay, so harvest cherry, easy peasy. That's why we're right here by our fruit trees. Boom, that's done. And then feed rabbit. We're just gonna have to go track down a bunny. There's one right there. Hello. So we got the bunny done. All right, and catch three fish from Frosted Heights, so let's get that done as well. So we're gonna just do a little fast travel into Frosted, and we'll get the fishies out of the way. Okay, now that we have all of these done, we'll clear these, and we have Cell Mineral. We're gonna leave that alone still. We have Mine Dazzle Beach spots, Cell Meals, so we can, and Mine Minerals. So since we have to Mine Dazzle Beach and Mine Minerals, that could be a two for one right there. And we have a, our first double up on cooking. So if we do this five star meal, we'll complete the two star meal. But before we do that, let's clear all four of these. Since we need to Mine Minerals, Cell, cell Minerals, and Mine Dazzle Beach, we'll start by Mining Dazzle Beach and then that will allow us to get our minerals. Then we can sell the minerals and the meals, and then we can see if we get any more cooking tasks. So let's try that. Okay, so we mined Dazzle Beach, and as expected, we got our two minerals. Now we have the cell minerals, and we have the cell meals. So we're back at our little location where we get these all done. So we're gonna sell both of these real quick. 
All right, now that minerals are done and selling meals is done, we're gonna clear all of that. And look at this, guys, it's getting even better. Prepare five star meal, prepare three star meal, prepare two star meal. We can do all of these at once simply by cooking a five star meal. So let's clear these other three first and see if we can get some more. We're gonna feed a raven, we need to pick coffee beans, and we need to catch three fish from the Sunlit Plateau. We'll do the coffee beans here because we're at our location, and then we'll get, uh, we'll see, we'll clear it, and we'll see if we get something else we can do at this location. Coffee beans, clear, catch three fish. So it's really good we did that. Right above it, I know you can't see it because my camera's blocking it, but I have the task to catch three fish from the Sunlit Plateau. So now I can get both of these done at once, and then we can go feed that raven, and then we can clear these three and hopefully get more cooking tasks. So we're gonna go off to do that. Okay, so we got that out of the Way and we have all cooking, so let's clear these three. And now we have harvest raspberries, mine four rock spots in the Vitalis mines, and prepare a marvelous jam. But for now, let's just harvest the raspberries and mine the rock spots in the Vitalis mines. And then we'll see if we get any more cooking and then we can clear everything. All right, so now we can clear these two. All four of our other ones are actually going to be cooking. So let's clear this and this. Now we have sell five fruits and feed a croc. We'll knock those out. All right, so we got the sell fruits and feed a croc. Let's clear those. Now we got harvest vegetables behind me here and we got mine four rock spots in the force of valor. So I'm gonna knock that out. Now we've gotten our next couple of tasks done. We have the fish from the forgotten lands and the rock spots from valor. So that leaves us with boom you guys we did it we have all cooking tasks now which means we can finish all of these in a matter of seconds so we have prepare a five star meal prepare a three star meal prepare a one star meal prepare a two star meal cook with seafood and prepare marvelous jam so we don't even have to leave this area we're in because we put a stove in this area so just to recap here i i just cooked one meal i just cooked one five star seafood meal and it took me one second and literally all these are done now i can just follow up by cooking this marvelous jam and then that's done as well but when it comes to farming your dream light as fast as possible this is the method you guys it's all about preparation. It's about making a little area. You are going to have to leave your area for biome specific duties. You know, when it says catch fish from this biome or mine rocks in this biome, you are going to have to leave for those. But like I said at the beginning of the video, pretty much 90% of everything else can be done in this little area that you create. And that just makes this process so much faster. So if you've been struggling with Dreamlight, this is going to make it a lot easier. And if you have tasks as well as duties, I don't have any tasks left, right? Like I don't have any mining tasks or village tasks or friendship tasks or foraging tasks. I don't have any of these. But if you do have these, you'll get even more Dreamlight as you work through duties because your duties are going to have you doing foraging and fishing and gardening. Your duties are going to have you doing these things. So you're going to you're going to progressively get even more Dreamlight than I would get. Also, my valley, like I stated earlier, is very heavily decorated. If your valley is not heavily decorated, this will be even faster for you because you're going to be able to find your critters easier. It's not going to be hard for you to track down a rabbit or a squirrel. Whereas for me, my biomes are very built up decorating is one of my favorite things in the game so it takes me a hot minute sometimes to find a bunny rabbit or a raccoon because i have so much stuff everywhere but if you're trying to farm dreamlight and you haven't decorated yet you're in luck that's actually going to make it a lot easier to farm dreamlight so if you take all these things we talked about today if you prepare well and you approach choosing which duties to do strategically, you can clear a lot of duties at the same time. It doesn't have to just be cooking ones. For example, you can wait and get multiple fishing ones. Like there's a Dreamlight duty that says catch three fish. And then there's Dreamlight duties that say catch three fish in a particular biome. You can do both of those at once. You'll have particular duties that say feed a critter, and you'll have particular duties that say feed a certain critter. You can do both of those at once. So by strategically approaching your Dreamlight duties and the order in which you do them and stacking certain ones to do them together can make this process even more efficient. If you take that and everything else we discussed in this video today, then you're going to be set to be able to power through your dreamlight farming at an incredibly high rate. And you'll find yourself with 100,000, 200,000, or 300,000 Dreamlight in no time at all, as long as you're just grinding it out. So hopefully that helps you guys quite a bit. I think that pretty much covers it without having to force you guys to sit here and watch me actually go through the process of doing every single one of these tasks. 
Just trust me when I say it is fast. And once you get in your rhythm, you're going to do great with it. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a very, very big favor and consider pressing that thumbs up button as it helps more people discover this channel. Also, consider subscribing for more Disney Dreamlight Valley and gaming content. As you guys know, the Disney Dreamlight Valley expansion is fast approaching and will be out in just a couple of days. So if you are not currently part of our Twitch community, you got to get in here because we have a lot of fun. We have a beautiful community over here. Matter of fact, I actually filmed this on Twitch today. If you're looking for people to enjoy multiplayer with, if you're looking for people to trade with when it comes to resources or possibly just people to share your valley with, Joining our community is a great way to do exactly that. So I'll leave the link to my Twitch video or to my Twitch stream in the video description down below. As always, thank you so much for your time today and good luck decorating your valley.